really important that we begin to change the mindset of young people to know that your vote counts. They don't understand that the legislative arm of government is actually a co-equal arm of government. We have an uh, incredible amount of potential. Whatever it is I was doing because of my personal DNA, it had to be of an international standard, which is what, seriously speaking, is all about. Hello there. I'm still on my theme of the good, the bad, and the ugly about Nigeria. There's always something to say about Nigeria. There's good, there's bad, there's ugly. Today, I'm focusing on something that's very good because it's innovation in the area of technology. Why I find it interesting is that I have three guests in the house today who are doing work that will not only advance the unity of Nigeria, but will project Nigeria beyond Nigeria to the international space. And it's also quite interesting that there's a wide range of age right there, from the very young to the not so young, and to those who are at least a little close to where I am. But still, they are doing great things that you can learn from, that you can learn about, and that you can also use. I'll be back on Seriously Speaking if you don't go away. And I am still at this while in the way. Welcome back. The first person I'm going to introduce to you is someone I've known since he was in Dapper. He doesn't like to hear that. Well, that's what the truth is. And, uh, but he's doing interesting things which most people his age would rather be doing something else. You know, we've heard of all kinds of negative things about the young in Nigeria. But this is one positive story because, well, Jonathan Maji is my guest on the show today. <laughs> so, you know, but you know, before I tell people why I have you here, I want them to say a little bit of the reason because it's created something that's called Unix. Yes. Does that have anything to do with unique? Every person is unique, so... Okay, I'm let's unique. see what you've done. I want to see a little bit of that before I continue my conversation with you. Okay. That's the beat of the African drum. It's Is the, it? It's and I see the, the football in it. Yeah. So those are the different things you can do on the app. Like the, that's where you sign up pretty much. But you know, what I find interesting the is your choice app. of developing an app. Because I see in that app, not only something, it's keeping people busy, while it will make you money, but it will bring people together. Tell me how. Yeah, I mean, so the most, I think the most important thing about entrepreneurship is adding value to society. So if your initial goal is just to make money, you're never ever going to make money, or you're going to make short-term money that is not yeah, sustainable. Wise man. <laughs> <laughs> and this is your first business. Um, it's not going to be sustainable. So we try to actually add value and improve the community. So mm -hmm. growing up and speaking to people since I've been back, there's a huge demand for football and there's a huge demand for sports, even through health and fitness, which is the next thing that Unix is going to do. Um, people are more getting more health aware. People are subscribing more to gyms. People are taking notes of their diets. I'm interested you are going the app way because you are business management, what you yeah. just said. And business then you are developing apps. Did yeah. you acquire the skill or you paid for it to be done for you? Um, a bit of both. So I paid for, well, the company, we paid for the shell. And then when you pay for the shell, you then go and customize the app to how you want it to look exactly. Mm -hmm. So that's the process that we used. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So yeah, back to the to the Unix. adding. Yeah, back to the <laughs> back to the Unix. Um, we just feel like it's really important to add value, and like I said, there's so much demand for it. So on the see. app, on the app, you can book wherever you want to play. You can create your own tournaments, your own leagues you can for play you with and friends, your exactly. You know. So like in the in the video that was shown earlier, that's one of the things you can do in terms of, say, me and four people want to play football somewhere. We can go on the welcome space and try to find other people to play with because everyone on the app is there for sports. So it's easy to find people and, commun and communicate with people. So like the people I actually started this business with, I met them playing football when I was younger and then the relationship just developed as so, we got I, mean, I find it interesting, especially because you came back home to do this, but I'll take a break. And again, that's my concern though, that you're Nigerian, you've come to Nigeria, you develop an app that will help Nigerians in the area of sports. I have another guest who I want to join you on set. And I think I'll play a little clip of what he's done because I found his work online, something about Shongo, one of the gods that 
I don't know if you people know about those people now, these young ones. <laughs> a lot of our history has been lost. So I'll take a break and I return. We'll see a little bit of what this man has done with Songo on animation, and I will invite him to the studio. <laughs> Baba, mon fait mon nom pour Dieu là, mini. Souru, oh mami, souru. Il est tipe, kosi bila zile suto. Odu mo mo dada. Mo mo baba, mo kongu le fait bara dini, mo budom. Koboru, mo kareme. Si on bi ko ti mo to da lola sugbon ai gbo si n ta ba mo ele da re lagbara po ohun ni o se sa mo ni bi bo bo mo ni o se tu olo o foju ni ju pe la mo ru mo le e bo ra oju san mo a te bo ra mu mi a tu fi si ogun ni o iwo le ni na ta yan ti o gbe ogun oluburi bo bo le kile ato laju ko laju ga mo wo lagbara to foju ye re opo ni o ma fe oluju fe o lenu apo ta gri lo je fun pe eyan bi mo ni mo ni se n dara re si se yi to si n jo no lenu bi orisa e lagbara re o fara pe ti mo to atowo dowo sugbon agbara yi kan na ti o mu kogo re bu lo yi na ni o bi sugu re o Toba wa ku wo nikan ko ti ru ara re pa Sengo Interesting well first of all why did you choose Shongo Sorry so sorry I should first of all give your name tell us your name and how you work to Shondo Okay um um my name is Kola Wale Olariwaju You don't do Kola at all no, I always try as much as possible to add the Wally at the end. That's why I didn't call your name yeah, to introduce yeah. you. Yeah, because if you search on Google, if you type Kola Olariwaju, other, other names, other people come up. But okay. if you type Kola Wale Olariwaju, yeah, you get me there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, basically, I'm the founder of Commotion Studios. We're the ones that worked on... Sorry, why the name Commotion? Do you cause Commotion? I mean, I mean... You know, you uh, we, we tend <laughs> to... Our goal is to create disruptive content. Oh. So, disruptive and all that, obviously. Uh -huh. You know, the whole name thing, my name is Kola, K-O. Yeah, oh, so, okay. Yeah, so that also got into You that. were in advertising before? Yeah. So you time. know about copy and all of those things? Uh, I tend to soak up a lot of information wherever I go. Uh -huh. So copy, I, I used to write also. Well, I write also, so... But I, I think my, my, what I was doing at uh, my ad agency, or the ad agency I worked on was, uh, I was an ad director. So basically, then I moved on to production, mm -hmm. all that. So is Shongo, or what you've done with Shongo, a lifelong dream? Or it's um, happened it's to of, you? It's one of. Um, what I've done with Shongo, I, I'm a storyteller. So I, I try to find interesting ways to pass on messages through different mediums. I, I, I came from a traditional art background, so I used to paint, um, I used to sculpt and all that. But once I got into computing, I, it, it was quite interesting. I knew that that was the future, so I was saying, how could I merge those two? in such a way that I could also, you know, tell my stories through that, those mediums. But over time, as I was growing up and I was learning, uh, I found out that it was quite expensive. You know, <laughs> it was quite an expensive venture. But, Maybe you yeah. should hire people like uh, Jonathan to devise a way to make this thing. Yeah, yeah, we need, we, need, we need a lot of help in this country, you know. Um, and I think there are a lot of talented people that are willing to do different things, but they don't have the avenue because of, I don't, there's, there's the system, you know, in Nigeria, it's, quite, it's kind of, I won't I won't use the word flawed, but it has it has its you know lapses and weaknesses that doesn't allow for certain things to flow. It's allowed for Songo. No, um, in this scenario, I I, I would uh, say you were disruptive. <laughs> I had to push. <laughs> I had to push harder than normal, and I think that's why because right now it's getting some global uh, attention. I think that's why a lot of people are surprised because you know it came out of Nigeria. That's why we even put the caveat at the beginning that was 100% made in Nigeria just so that there's no confusion 
Um, we, we had the same... But we yeah. would know definitely because Shongo, will Oibo write anything about Shongo? Yeah, Shongo-Ibo? they can. They could have a, a, a Nigerian writer, okay. you know, to give something authentic and mm -hmm. produce it there, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, and uh, we had the same issues with every other person. Uh, power generation, you know, we had to, you know, use... Mm -hmm. And I think that was actually... Uh, that, that brings me to one of the interesting things about this project, which was the fact that it, it was basically almost zero... Uh, basically, it was as cheap as $400 to produce. You say that, but did it really cost you $400 to produce that great animation? Um, Cash-wise, yes. Um, I, but, but what happened was the, the, a lot of people saw the potential of the project and came on board uh, at the early stages, and I was, I was overwhelmed with, with the amount of um, support. What does it take to do that? You need... You need, um, you need hardware. You need, um, of, of course, the talent for different aspects of the, of the production. Uh, of course, you need power. You what need... about the software? The software, yeah, we, we also reached out to the Because the this company. is like virtual reality? I no, mean, no, no. Or 3D, no. what's it's, this called? It's 3D animation. Okay. It's 3D animation. We also have a, a virtual reality angle of our company called Giddy Virtual Tours, but we'll get to that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, so, um, yeah, so, yeah, so the software companies we reached out to, they gave us like a free demo of their softwares, you understand, based on what we're trying to do. You know, my next guest is going to join us. I mean... Fine, because I think we should just finish the conversation here because I now I have a very big chair that can yeah. fit everybody. I'm going to invite, um, I call her Iyate Jumade because she created a character that fits also into our culture and tried to do the same thing that you're doing but differently. So storytellers can take advantage of what you're doing as well. I'll be right back with my next guest if you don't go away. Thank you, Kola Wonli. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Difficult. Chivoko. Wow, interesting. Okay. Yata Jumade, for the benefit of this show, I will welcome you as Yata Jumade, but your other name really is being picked. Okay, eh? thank you. It's nice to have you. Thank Our you gentlemen so have created space for okay. you there. But first, you know why I brought you in at this point? He spoke about Shongo actually having some relationship, even with Thor, and Marvel has shown interest. Now, we're talking about Nigeria. Nigeria is 57 years old. Yes. In fact, and you tell me that some of the things that you're doing now, you couldn't do it until you left Nigeria, that you saw the value of our culture. True or false? True. You know, and you know, what does that tell us about the need for us to produce content that is our own? I think it's extremely important because um, what you find is that, you know, Nigeria, obviously, we're an LEDC, and you find that a lot of talent... What does that mean? Less Educate economically me. developed Develop country. country. Ah. Oh, abbreviation. So, third world. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, so so third use. world is no longer, it's derogatory. Yeah, it is. So we said LEDC. So not even, not even developing. L what? LEDC. -E oh. oh, okay. Um, so yeah, what you find with countries like us is the exceptionally talented people, like the people I'm with here, yes. um, they end up at a point seeing that it's difficult for them to produce their content here and look overseas. And then what we're doing long term is just improving other countries at the detriment of ours because pretty much all the people who might not necessarily have plans stay here. And then the people who are visionaries or forward thinking end up leaving to I thought that's an interesting point because I was reading recently that the most educated people in America, for example, are Nigerians. From what I read about you, it's like you're interested more in the international market. You think that will help our image or is that we don't have money to buy your work? Okay. Um, it, it goes both ways. Um, the Nollywood or the film industry in Nigeria right now doesn't have animated content whatsoever. It's usually just... Uh, uh, you know, live action movies. Yeah. Um, and the live action movies are cheap to produce. Cheaper. Che I would say, I'll use the word cheap. Reason why compared to, you know, international standards. And the reason why it's understandable because our distribution um, channels are not yet so mm -hmm. solid. So basically, we tend to just distribute within Nigeria or some uh, cr cluster of African countries, maybe, uh, you know, some film festivals here and there. Is there positive response 
Yes. That shows that money can actually be made out of this. No. If you have the numbers in terms of the people, mm -hmm. money, money can be made. You know, um, like the, the dawn of thunder right now, if you can check Twitter right now, it's still trending right now. So I can't, I've, I've lost. So what's, what's surprising for more? The fact that, ah, ah, this quality from Nigeria or the fact that, oh, this story existed? This quality from Nigeria and it looks like a good way to project the country to, you know, because we, there's a lot of negative stuff about Nigeria, if you check online. So it's like a breath of fresh air mm -hmm. to them, mm -hmm. as to Nigerians that we have this. So I want you to give me what you think Nigeria's potential are from different perspectives. Very quickly, Nigeria's potential. Sorry, in terms of what? Anyhow, what's the future for Nigeria? You are young because you're still under 30. I think the potential is limitless because the, the talent and the drive is here. So even from schooling in America, a lot of the top performers in school uh, Nigerian. So you can attest to that fact? Yes, I can attest and to that fact. And you can, actually, with what you've done. I like the fact that you've decided to do something regardless. Don't wait for a job. Just yeah. do something. You found a space. So what would you say, as Nigeria turns 57 now, about the potential that we have that we have not, I mean, that we have not used? Yeah, Yeah, so, um, I, I mean, I perfectly agree with what um, he says. Where, I mean, it's the power of our numbers. So, I mean, in a certain number of people, there will be a lot of creatives. We are very creative. We are very um, entrepreneurial. We are very enterprising. We just need a better, I mean, enabling environment. So what's your final words? I'm a firm believer that Nigeria is special. I don't know, I don't know the best way to put it, but I've met a lot of talented, brilliant people. I, I met one today. I know her very well. There are people that they are looking for things to do. They are looking for how to better their, you know, better the country. But if there are no chances for anybody, like if things are, you know, if we're thinking money, money, money all the time and not how to actually improve the country, then we're moving backwards instead of forward. So we're all saying the same thing. Yeah. Value, what you do, you talk about the value plus the money, the value plus the money, the value plus the money, what you give back. But I think what I find most interesting, all what you've done is you've done. You did, even though it was three, three years old. You did, even though you had tried something else, and you just started by doing. And I thank you all for being guests on my show, and I appreciate it, and I hope that those of you who've watched are taking a leaf off their books. And hopefully, you'll try out all the things that they've tried. Check out Unix, check out Tejumade, and check out Dawn of Thunder. That's been Seriously Speaking for today. I'll see you again. Bye.